morning class, I am Sir D and I am your teacher for now. Today, I will help you identify the structure, purpose, and language features of different text types. But before that, let us sing first. Sing with me. Learning is easy, learning is fun. If we work hand in hand, everything is fine. Learning is easy, learning is fun. If we work hand in hand, everything is fine. I hope you like it. Class, how long you eat vegetables? I know some of you eat vegetables and maybe some are not. But for those who eat vegetables, you did a great job. And for those who did not, try to eat vegetables because it is good to our body. And it's nice to eat vegetables, especially the young ones like you. Let's look at this. Who among you eat peanut bread? Peanut bread is nutritious food because of variety of vegetables. It is rich in vitamins and minerals. And as I mentioned in one of my videos, this is my favorite food. Actually, one of my favorite food. Now, let us read the selection about peanut bread. Listen carefully. This is it. Northern Philippine Cuisine. Peanut bread or makbet is an Ilocan stewed vegetable dish. The usual vegetables included in the dish are eggplant, bitter gourd, parampalaya, okra, and tomatoes. The dish is seasoned with baguong isda or fermented fish paste. The Ilocanos cook peanut bread simply by layering the vegetables in a pot with a little amount of water and fish sauce in it. They set the pot on a low fire and let the food simmer without stirring or mixing until the vegetables are cooked. If problems arises like salty taste because of so much baguong, they put some sugar to taste it better. Sugar regulates the salty taste in food. These days, many people come up with different versions. Here is one way of cooking peanut bread. We know already the origin of peanut bread. But how about the utensils that we use to cook it? What are they? So we have pan, bowl, knife, ladle, chopping board, and tablespoon or teaspoon. What are the ingredients of peanut bread? Two pieces of palaya cut into two inches length, two pieces eggplant cut into two length wedges, six to eight pieces okra, top stream up or cut diagonally, two pieces tomatoes cut in wedges, pork slices, one medium onion chop, one tablespoon baguong isda, and cooking time 25 minutes. Here are the procedures in cooking peanut bread. First, saute the garlic, onions, and tomatoes in the oil. Add the pork slices and saute for a minute. Next, turn the heat down and layer the vegetables from the bottom of the pan in this order. Ampalaya, okra, and eggplant. Next, add the broth and baguong. Cover. Let boil, then simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are cooked but still clear. Next, tear the fish or shrimp and season with ground pepper. Then finally, serve with rice. We know already how to cook peanut bread. What can you say about peanut bread? What region does this recipe come from? Look at this paragraph. The paragraph gives us information and describes how to cook peanut bread. This text is called descriptive text. It describes the sizes, the colors, and the different aspects of peanut bread. What does the recipe tell us to do? Here is the procedure. It is stated in the procedure 
the steps on how to cook pinakbet. This type of text is called procedural text or sequence text. Let's proceed with the next question. What problem arises in cooking pinakbet? Look at this paragraph. It states here that if problem arises like salty taste because of so much bagoong, put some sugar to taste it better. Sugar regulate the salty taste in food. This type of text is called problem and solution text. Based from our answers earlier, we can say that there are three different types of text. First, text that give a specific characteristics or features like size, shape, location, and colors. Details are provided to help the reader visualize, imagine, or form a picture in the mind about the topic. And this is called descriptive text. Here are the examples of descriptive text. News articles, travelogues, picture articles, content area materials like mathematics, science, etc. Next, we have the text that tell procedures, directions, steps on how to do something or the DIY. These are procedural or sequence text. Example of these are the recipes, steps in word problems, dance steps, and different tutorials. And lastly, the text that discuss problem and solution is called problem and solution text. Example of these are problem solving in mathematics, trial and error in science activities, and others. Let me check if you understand our lesson for today. Okay, let us have an activity. Okay, let us read the selection and identify the text type shown. Number one, hot dogs for breakfast is the easiest thing to cook. First, remove the plastic covering in the hot dogs and make short slices. Next, heat oil in a pan. Then, in a low fire, cook the hot dog till the bright red. Finally, serve and enjoy. What type of text is given here? What is your answer? Very good! That is what we call procedural or sequence text. Hey, how about this one? Hand washing makes our hands clean if washed properly. By using a germicidal soap and water, it will make hands free from any form of germs. Wash it gently and use clean cloth to dry. What type of text is given here? What is your answer? Very good. We call it descriptive text. Alright, how about this one? Lito cannot read well. He was a very shy and timid person. Every time he was called to read, he always ignored our teacher. Mr. Santos, our teacher, made an intervention on how Lito can read well. After class, Mr. Santos asked him to read. So because of that, Lito improved his reading skills. He can now read a word, phrases, sentences, and even short paragraph. What type of text is given here? What is the answer? Very good. We call it problem and solution text. To sum up with our discussion, we talk about text type. Text type refers to the classification, definition of the way a text is written, such as its structure, purpose, and language features. There are three types of text type, namely the problem and solution, descriptive, procedural or sequence text. Problem and solution discuss the problem and solution. Descriptive text describe an object, person, place, event, or idea. And lastly, procedural or sequence text tell the procedure, direction or steps on how to do something. I hope you understand our lesson today. Now it's your turn to answer the given activities 
on your modules. If you have problems, don't hesitate to chat me or direct message me on my Facebook and I will help you for that. Once again, I am Sir D and enjoy working!